All right, so I wanted to discuss, you seen the man with no name open top race gun. I did a triple shot with it. Um, this was cool to do, but I wanted to discuss why I will never do another one of these again. Um, if you look at this, that's the barrel. This is like a black powder. The only thing that holds that barrel on is that wedge. And there's no top strap on this frame. And this one's 38. And if you look there, you can see how thick the cylinder walls are. They're not super, super thick. That gun is really hard to triple shot with. I'm going to explain that in a minute. Here is my other race gun right here. There's the cylinder on that. The cylinder on this is just barely thinner than this one that's 38. And actually side by side, you can see the size difference. This cylinder is quite a bit smaller. Um, I don't know why they made them that small, I guess trying to keep as close as they could to the originals, as far as, you know, the original 1872 open top, because here is my 45 caliber open top, and the cylinder on it is the exact same size as this one and you can see how thin the cylinder walls on the are on the 45 there's no way I would try and make a race gun I have an open top in 45 Colt or 44 um, I can just about guarantee you when you cut the notches deeper in this for the bolt you'd cut into the cylinder because this cylinder is so much smaller Now we'll get into the other reason why I won't uh, do another one of these. See when I spin that cylinder, it won't even barely spin all the way around one full revolution. When you spin this one, it'll spin around 10 times. I think the reason with that is here's the base pin on the single action army. It can actually spin for a long time on that. On this one, Look at the size of that base pin, which they call an arbor on that, compared to the base pin on that. Um, there's less bearing surface, which means less friction spinning on this little rod, little base pin, than there is on this big one. I mean, it's, and I've polished everything as much as I can. The other thing is, is if you look in there, the tolerances are so tight between the cylinder and the frame that any black powder fouling that gets in there slows this gun down too. You got your hand up here. When you fire, you're hitting it with your thumb, hitting it like that. So the first shot, your hand is over the gun. Even the second shot, your hand's still over the gun, and then you're coming down. This has a top strap on it. If you were to get some bad ammo in that cylinder blow, I don't know how much it would protect you, but at least you would have some kind of protection above your hand because the, the cylinder is going to blow at the thinnest spot, which is going to be at the top of the cylinder. 
you know, up here, if you look here, it's going to be at the top of the cylinder, which is going to be underneath the top strap. If you were to get a squib and it was to go into the barrel, it might rupture the barrel up in here, but this frame, and I've seen a few of them blown up, it's going to hold this barrel somewhat together. It's just going to split, but it's not going to, or at least I've never seen one, it just blew apart. On this one, and this is wide open, you know, when you pull it, your hand is still over it, it's still over it, it's still over it. So, if, if this was to rupture, it's going to blow right into your hand. If you had a squib and another one hit it with no frame around this barrel, this could blow apart right here, your hand's right there. I, I Under no circumstances... Do I think that if you wanted to build one of these, yes, it's cool, it's different. Under no circumstances would I ever do it with live ammo. This would only be done with blanks. Um, this gun, I don't even think I'll fan it with live ammo. I'll still shoot it. I mean, it still shoots normal, just like it always did. But there won't be any kind of like trick shooting with this thing with live ammo. And if you're building a gun just for doing the triple shot, I don't think this is an optimal gun because I don't think it's capable of going as fast as the single action army. Just my opinion. I'm a novice at it. Um, maybe somebody like Tuco, somebody that does it more, uh, Kid Cole, you know, maybe one of them guys that, that does it all the time could get this gun to go faster. But in my opinion, I mean... The gun's still shootable in that, but this is the one and only open top that I'm ever going to do as a race gun, period. I, I would like to get a 38 single action army just because I'd like to have a 38 caliber uh, triple shot gun, 38 caliber, or even 357 is going to be less recoil than that 45 Colt, but this is, and that's why I chose this one because it was 38 special. But to, in my opinion, this is not the gun to make a race gun out of. If you build one of these, I'm telling you, do not do the triple shot. I wouldn't even fan it with live ammo. If anything happens, your hand's right there when you're doing it. Do not do it under any circumstances. Um, this gun is going to, I'm going to most likely, norm, most of the time, probably just shoot it the way it was intended, you know, fire it, fire it. But if I do fan it, or if I do do any more triple shots with it, period, only blanks will be fired in this. And I was firing low-powered blanks when I did that triple shot. I was only running five or six grains of black powder. And I, would, I used the wax bullets to cap the, the end of the blank. And I was pushing them all the way down to the powder. Just because the other reason is, when I would fire this and I had my hand over, I had done some, some full power blanks. And it was burning my hand up because, you know, you've got that fire and pressure coming out around the top of this. And it was hitting me in the hand. I mean, not bad enough to hurt me, but, you know... Still, I just don't think this is the gun to do that with. I just wanted because a lot of people were excited and they thought it was really cool that I did a triple shot with this open top. You'll probably see more triple shots with this open top, but I just wanted to make it very, very, very clear. Do not fan these or do triple shots with live ammo. They're just not. If this thing comes apart, there's nothing there to protect your hands. And this frame is not as strong as that single action army frame. There's no top strap on it. Just don't do it. And uh, that's all I got. Thanks.